today's episode, I'm gonna show you how I clean my grates looking like this to this. So let's whip out the tools and let's start the show. Sergeant here. What's going on, Grill Billies? About a month ago, I took this 1973 Weber and from the ground up, we restored it with the exception of restoring the grill grates. All right, today we're going to be working on the Weber Ranch Kettle. This is a 37 inch grate and we're going to make it great again. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't click away. Hey, if you love barbecue as much as I do, I want you to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. So when it comes to cleaning the surface of your grate, everyone and their mother has this tool. It's pretty much just an ordinary wire brush. Now, if this ordinary wire brush made this grill grate polished, you wouldn't be watching this video right now because you're like, dude, this ain't doing the job. So I'm gonna show you a few other tools that you should have in your arsenal when it comes to cleaning some grill grates. So first tool, and it's so inexpensive, this thing is like literally less than five bucks, is literally getting a razor scraper. This thing is so versatile. If you're trying to clean your kettle lid or the inside bowl um, or your grill grates or pretty much any part on the Weber, this is like my go-to. Yes, it does take a little bit of time, but the results are worth it. So I'm gonna show you how we use this razor scraper on the grill grate. I don't know why I'm not. And before we start, you're gonna wanna wear some of these, I know. So we're just basically gonna work small and I'll zoom in in detail or whatever, but so pretty much, so say in this section, so first thing we're gonna do is we'll basically use our metal brush. Now you'll see that it actually, just even from doing that, it does help lift a lot of this junk and crud up but there's stuff that is basically still caked in and that's where our razor is gonna come into play. And so how this works is basically you just go up against this metal and you literally just start doing this. You have a very flat surface that you're working with here, but you're basically gonna come in here and then just slowly start going kind of like side to side. Now you can see basically by starting with the brush and then coming in here with the razor scraper, we took something that pretty much looked like this and now we got it to that polished shine. Now there are still some slight imperfections in here, but it's a night and day difference from the grill grate looking like this to this. So while the razor scraper will work, it's gonna take a lot of time. So sometimes you wanna speed up the production. That's why I recommend getting a cutoff wheel and then getting a wire brush attachment. So this thing goes from pleading with your grill to become clean to making your grill clean. It doesn't say please. It's just like, we're getting this job done and we're getting it done fast. You're gonna wanna wear a shirt that you really don't care about because when this thing starts going on the grates, junk and crud starts flying everywhere, trust me. So get on a shirt you don't care about, get some heavy duty gloves, get some eye protection, and let's get this bad boy working, all right? So once I have this side done, what I'm gonna do is lift this up and then flip it around. So basically, now we're working on the back side and this is where it's gonna get a lot more dirty. So let's dive in. This is where I was wearing my glove. All this is basically the dirt, grime, and debris that we took off 
So pretty and so smooth right now. So not bad for probably spending less than 10 minutes. And now mind you, this is the 37 inch grill grate. So if you have a Weber 22 or an 18 or a 26, it's gonna take substantially less time. In the descriptions, I will link all the tools I use so you can check them out, but they're very inexpensive. Now this is, again, something you wouldn't do every single cook. You'd probably do it maybe once a year. I would love to hear in the comments what technique works for you. This is kind of like the barbecue community here. So if you know something that I don't know, I'd love to hear it. Now, before I put the lid on, I will wipe this down with some like grapeseed oil. And this is basically just to oil up the grill grates to help prevent it from rusting. But yeah, next time we're ready to cook, she's ready to go. This same process can be used underneath um, to the charcoal grate. That is, if you want to, you know, it's your call on that. That's pretty much how I do it. I hope you liked this episode. If you haven't already, do hit that like button and subscribe button, and I will catch you guys in the next one. All right, Grill Sergeant out. So let's whip out the tools and let's start the show. Why do, why do YouTubers gotta do that? They're like, hey, what's up, grill billies? Let's start the show.